welcome everybody to St James's Park where it is absolutely rocking. The PA system certainly being tested out. Has been kind of created by a uh, Hodgson, although he's picked out Trippier, and then Trippier is found into Murphy, lost it into the end, and that has come from nowhere. Jacob Murphy has been ruled offside. Not anymore. That's onside. Oh, he's going to go and look at the screen here, and he has awarded the goal, and Jacob Murphy has fluked one for Newcastle. Trippier, oh, he's gone past his man here, darting into the box, he's clipped in, he's got to the back post, hit the bar from Gordon, and eventually hooked away. Anthony Gordon, how has he put that onto the crossbar? I mean, if that was for a hundred... Almost Constantina jam in, Murphy bends one back post, it's in! Gordon, hit it on the half volley! Palace opened up so much space, it was a perfect ball. The added five here at St James's Park. Gay steps in in front of the tag on this, gone through to Longstaff, one on one, he smashed it past the keeper. And it might well be lights out for Palace now. Newcastle three, Crystal Palace nil. For Murphy, for Wilson, could be four, and it is four, and Palace having come close, at least to creating a chance, at one end of the ground, have been cut to ribbons again, and it's game over well and truly now. He's stepping up to it, Ronaldo style, and his hair was tipped over by Pope. What a free kick that was, fair play to him. What a save that oh, was. Just check as Palace are on the rampage here, if you could call it that. Raksaki approaching the edge of the pouch area, goes past his man, Raksaki. Oh, good save that time by Nick Pope. Palace's hope of a consolation might just have passed them by. The board about to go up, there has been a goal. Palace finishing the game at least with the ball in their possession. But that's about as good as it will get for the Eagles to this afternoon. Well beaten here at St James's Park. They have missed the craft of Elise and Eze.